Hello, I'm Yongun Ko from Seoul National University. I will introduce our research chronic rhinosinitis and the types associated with distinct local cytokine values that shape the distribution of innate lymphoid cells. Chronic rhinosinitis is chronic inflammation in sinus. And furthermore, CRS with nasal poly present two endotypes that eosinophilic and non eosinophilic CRS in major patients. IC2 is well known in that the most important effect are immune cells in CRS microenvironments. However, other IC subsets, IC1 and IC2s, were not fully described. First, we find that IC2s and IC3s were increased and functionally activated in CRS with nasal polyp condition. Furthermore, depending on CRS endotypes, IC2s only increased in ECRS conditions, but IC3s in both endotypes. Next, we want to find differences between ECRS and any stress condition by RNA sequencing. We found that type 1 interferon response were significantly increased in NECRS compared to ECRS. Interferon beta, one of the type 1 interferons, affects IS2s and IS3s in opposite direction or by restricting IS2s functions but enhancing IRC3s functions. And IS13 and IS2s IL-22 that produced from IS-2s and IS-3s respectively enhance the chemokine expression in nasal epithelial cells. According to our research, both IS-2s and IS-3s were activated in nasal polyps from CRS patients. Type of interferon responses is strongly unregulated in any CRS compared to ECRS. Interferon better regulate the activation of IS2s and IS3s in different ways. IS2s and IS3s producing cytokines may cause to shape the CRS endotypes by affecting nasal epithelial cells. Thank you for your listening to our research. If you have any questions in our study, please contact an email in our manuscripts. Thank you.